a lot, you know, especially in the past, look in the past hundred years only. For thousands of years in this world, the way of, you know, uh, commute was animals until 1900s, right? Almost 100 years, some hundred years like that. In the past hundred years now we've moved from animals, from horses and camels and now we, we've, moved to, we've moved to automobiles and then auto, all kinds of auto, and then fast automobiles and trains and the jets and rockets and all kinds of things, right? In a very, very short distance, but thousands of years span was the same old rhythm, pretty much. It didn't matter whether you live in Bangladesh or Belgium, in Syria or Sweden, right? It's all the same at that time. I mean, 200 years ago, whether you're in Syria or Sweden, you're taking a horse to work, buddy. And Islam wants you to appreciate what you have and do the best job you do, you have, you can, but does not want you to, to depend on these things that will come and go. Does not want you to be fooled by these things as everlastingly. They will go and your perception ought not to be based on what people think of you. That's not, that should not be where your value is. You should do the absolute good to them. But you're doing that because you want to be close to Muhammadun Rasulullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. قُلْ لَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ أَجْرِ إِنْ أَجْرِي إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ I do not ask. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what do they do? They throw, they throw stones at him. They dig ditches on the way to his house so he can fall in it. They hit him. They launch a smear campaign with no limits that is ever known to humanity. What does he do at the end? I don't ask anything in return for this. And I will keep giving. Keep giving, but don't depend on people's perception. So when I say that, don't depend on that, don't depend on your work for who you are. You ought to do the best work you can. As a student, you ought to do the best job you can. But you're doing all these things so you can be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you can fulfill your purpose and role. For your role is much bigger than getting a degree. And your role is much bigger than executing a day's job. You are much bigger than that as a human being. There's so much capacity within you and there's so much potential that Allah placed within you that if you can unlock only that you would observe and observe and observe all these things around you. Don't limit yourself, don't blind yourself by these things. Open up, but the point is, in order for you to purify your external, and that's the whole point, I'm trying to have us purify the external, detach, detach, detach. You're powerful not because, don't think you're powerful because your job or your money or your position or titles or what people call you today, they might call you different things tomorrow. And your job that you have today may be changed tomorrow. And all these things. Take your power because you're close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that power will turn into love. For in tasawwuf and Islam we believe in the power of love, not in the love of power. And that... You know, you might think this is naive. It's not really naive. And I'll give you a biggest example that you all know. And even those who don't believe in anything know. All the prophets from Adam, whether they want to call them prophets or not, from Adam alayhi salam, all the way to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Did Allah give any of the prophets we believe, according to our belief, they're connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? And if they ask, Allah will give them. We have 300 some prophets, we have 25 prophets mentioned in the Quran, we have 300 and some thousand prophets mentioned in some hadith. Did any of the prophets come with nuclear weapons? Why not? Let me ask you this, what happened to most of the prophets? Tortured? Persecuted? Right? Path of sorrow, path of pain? Guess what? That applies to every single prophet that ever walked. 
Okay? But still, despite all that, Allah gave them the power of love, which is not very easy to have, especially when people transgress upon you. That is actually when the power of love, not the love of power. Al-Anbiya alayhim salam were not sent with the love of power. Okay? MashaAllah.